Hey guys, what is up? So today I am going to be doing a Selena inspired mukbang. Um, it's Halloween time and I have loved Selena for such a long time. Um, I dressed like her when I went to Houston, Texas for my first tour. I did a whole Selena tribute. Um, basically the disco medley she performed at the Houston Astrodome. Obviously it wasn't at the Astrodome, but I still performed it. I love Selena. I love Selena since like as a little kid. My dad, we watched so many of like those like musician biopic, so I knew Selena through the biopic with J-Lo, but obviously I watched all of the real Selena's interviews and music and I just like love her and her essence. Like J-Lo captured it so well that I was like so captivated and in love with Selena. Um, but the uh, but the real Selena's like, her spirit is just, it is just so, it makes you just feel warm, at least when I watch her and perform. And even, I like watching more so her interviews, even more than her performance. She's an amazing performer, but I like her interviews. I just, I like her. And so, um, yeah, I was kind of scared to do this because I feel like so many people think of it as um, appropriating, offensive, um, Caucasian dressing like, uh, you know, Latina girl, Latina woman, but I look at it as just like I'm dressing as my idol, just, um, I don't know, I, I was I was a little nervous, but with some support from my awesome friends that are huge Selena fans and stuff, they're just like, you should just do it, like you love her, and I was like, let me just do it, and so I hope, like I just hope people know that I'm not disrespecting her, and there's absolutely no disrespect, I get it, I have a bad reputation of being a troll in the past and stuff like that, but I really do just love cosplaying. And I saw on someone's TikTok, I'll take it on my TikTok, because I, I saw on someone's TikTok, they had um, a caption that said, you know, Selena is for every race, every gender, uh, sexuality, and more. You know, she's, she's for everyone to love. And I think that was really, that kind of just like inspired me. So anyways, one of my favorite scenes, obviously from the Selena movie, which is obviously inspired by Selena herself, is the pizza eating scene. Mmm, I love pizza, and I love pizza. And I love the whole little, like, I got it for a TikTok, to be honest. I'm like, let me just sit down and have a couple slices before I get into my TikTok. So, um, I got a cheese pizza. So, not really. Oh, I'm so excited to eat this out. Mmm. 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 I love the pizza. Mmm. You know, it cracks me up when I said, Selena. How do you keep that trim figure if your every girl wants to know? Well, I ate medium pizzas all by myself, lots of pepperoni, that's important. Scarf Doritos, drink lots of coke, and I have exercise. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna be so sorry. Mmm. <laughs> um, um, that particular thing to me, I scarf Doritos, scarf Doritos, drink lots of coke, and I exercise, obviously. Same. She was gifted and she danced a lot, so a lot of exercise. <laughs> mm. Her body was banging. But I did love particularly this movie in the scene, or the scene in the movie. Because she made it okay to not eat salads, to not be on a diet. Why I watched at the time, everybody was like, eating salads and stuff. I mean, it's why I love Anna Nicole too. She ate. Twinkies, donuts, not Twinkies, donuts, like powdered sugar donuts, pickles, chocolate milk, like she ate on the show. And so Selena, like, saying she eats all that, I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm just owning her body, and I thought that was such a good, I don't know, it was such a positivity. And Selena was fit. She was young too, she was you know, early 20s. Looked great, danced. She's without a doubt one of the most beautiful people that's ever lived, you know? Um, I think a lot of people think because I stabbed myself after like inner pool and like family Anderson. It was more, like I love Selena, but I never thought I could look like her because I had you know, I had like lighter hair as a kid and stuff like that, so I was just like, oh, I can never look like her. But, I don't know, I just think she was such a just 
beautiful person. I think it's the same way I can never look like Megan Fox. I don't. I, I hate that nowadays everyone makes everything about race. Like, I love Megan Fox so much, but I never dressed as her as a kid because, like, I didn't think I could look like her. One, she was she was always really thin, which I think a thin is beautiful. I think curvy is beautiful. I think big is beautiful. I really, really do. But I never dressed as her. Back in the day, you could dress like as any character. Well, you couldn't dress as any characters you want, Kyle. Like, I wanted to dress as Jasmine or Snow White. But it was like a thing that people like judged you back then. I guess it's a little bit like now. I like that anyone can be Elsa, any ethnicity, any sexuality, any gender can be Elsa. Like, I like that. And I guess it's like, where's the line of being offensive? I think if you're paying tribute and you're cosplaying, like, it's cool, you know? But Selena is so universal. I love her so much. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You guys, is TikTok taking over YouTube, like, for real? I literally only watch TikTok. I, like, make TikTok a priority for posting. I like TikTok over. Which I never thought I'd say that. Look, I like YouTube. YouTube's not going anywhere. But what YouTube was is definitely dying. A creator platform, creator driven platform. Oh my god. Oh, I just literally got it everywhere. I'm so stupid. Wow, that was great to show. Oh my god. That's all these changing shirts. But the creator driven platform, you know, the vlog style, I think like. It's all TikTok. It's all creative driven. I don't know. I think it's more creative too. Quick jokes, music. Mm. But people still get views and stuff, but. I watch podcasts on YouTube and music videos. And that's really it. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good. Mm. I love pizza. I always say that even when I eat pizza. They look very iconic in that house. I think in March it's been 25 years since her since her passing. You have to me if I'm wrong, but I hate the the end of her life story. It's not there. It's so dark. It's so sad. It's so didn't have to happen. Like, you know, any death is sad. You know, but like someone overdosing is sad. The fact that they take that many drugs to numb something to get to that level they kill themselves is not horrible, but and I'm very controversial, but it's like you it's unnecessary, but they somewhat did that to themselves, not blaming them, but you know, it's there's no one else to blame, there's no one else at fault, there's no one still living because that caused their death. I love these chips too. They're good. Mmm. It's 
that makes sense? Like Yolanda, I don't know how to say her name either. Selena was killed by another human being. I can't, I can't grasp that. I can't grasp it. I can't grasp killing anyone ever. I can begin to comprehend at some capacity, I guess, if you're just so pissed at someone, right? There's a motive. With Selena, like, literally so pure and wonderful. Like, every single story, there is no bad single stories. Like, when I die, probably a lot of people will be happy. I don't know what my cause of death is going to be, but I'm sure, I, mean, I know there'll be people that are like, thank God this bitch is dead. I mean, I'll be dead, so I'm not gonna care, but and it's sad to think about now, but that's the truth. And I'm sure that's the case with a lot of people people don't like in this world. But you never hear one bad story about Selena. And this dumb bitch just kills her for no reason. Like, jealous, bitter, angry, upset, greedy. Like there was no reason, like someone so, and this and this was like a fan and she gave her like a job and a career and like, the killer herself was like, oh yeah, we were like family. And then what the fuck? Like, it pisses me off so much. I hate it. It's not fair, but. I'm so happy, like honestly, truly, like I love seeing Selena's like legacy. I watch a lot of Selena TikToks. There's a Selena person on there named Bitty Bitty Bum Bum. And she gets her fair share of hate for just dressing like Selena. Like, I guess she's an impersonator, like a Selena impersonator. I get it. If you're a hardcore fan, maybe you don't want someone impersonating. I'm a hardcore Elvis fan. And I'm obsessed with Elvis Impersonator. I think it's so cool that they get everything down to a T, that they continue his music and his legacy. I think that's so cool to see her do it too. Like, I, I really enjoy watching her. I think she gets a lot of love, but I think she gets some hate comments as well. Some people like, you're not Selena. I see like Gabby Day Martino too and Ariana Grande. Like, you're not Ariana. And say so she's a fan. She probably has some styles after her. Who amongst us don't do that? Like, have style inspired by I put this on one day and I was like, hmm, I always wear this as a cute outfit. It's cute. Anyways. Fucking. Okay. I'm gonna be in a second lunch real soon. With Lena. She had bought the pop soon. And I really wanted to get her some green fried cheese together um, before she pops. And you should go on, you know, when she's pregnant, oh, pregnant women, they just want, they crave all the bad stuff because I know she's really healthy. Period. In pregnancy and in day to day, but I let pregnancy get a little more of an excuse to cheat. But you have cravings. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm a size here. Um, anywho, let's see. We might film that. We love some Korean fat cheese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this video. Um, rest in glory to our beautiful, beautiful Selena. And um, yeah, check out my TikToks. It's simply an inspired TikTok today. I'm sure they're gonna get hate. It makes me sad, but you know what? I get, I'm so happy. I love like, I love cosplay. I love dressing up. I love paying tribute, and that's like all I do. I obviously don't think I look like Selena at all. I can never compare to her. Obviously, can't sing or dance or anything like Selena. I just really, really love her, and um, I don't know. I had fun doing it. I love fun living as Selena for a day. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video.